the Turner, we're breaking in with new details involving the federal indictment of Congresswoman Corinne Brown. We now know some of the charges she's facing, plus new details on this investigation. There's a lot to it. Our Clark Foraker is live at the federal courthouse right now with the latest. Clark, fill us in. Lusa, this is what we were talking about yesterday when the U.S. attorneys would actually submit their case to the court. The veil would sort of be lifted on what investigators have been looking into for months now. So here's the latest. Here's what we know. Congresswoman Corrine Brown, as we reported yesterday, has been indicted by a federal grand jury, along with her chief of staff, a guy by the name of Ronnie Simmons. Both of the indictments on both individuals are connected to that phony nonprofit we've been reporting on, One Door for Education. One of the U.S. attorneys says in the case today, he calls what they did a personal slush fund. He says they took donations through that phony charity and basically funneled them into personal accounts for Brown, for Simmons, and for others that were associated with them. So that's sort of the roadmap, the basic gist of what investigators believe happened. I'll spare you the law, the law terminology here, but it's a 24 count indictment, meaning that U.S. attorneys believe between the two folks, Kareen Brown and Ronnie Simmons, 24 different laws were violated at different points in the investigation. So one of the big questions, how much money are we talking about here? Uh, authorities say that $800,000 was raised by One Door for Education at different charity events, one of them happening in Ponte Vedra Beach. They say almost all of that went to Brown, Simmons, and some of their associates. U.S. attorneys in a press release they sent out earlier this afternoon or earlier this morning are very specific about $200,000 of that money where they say Brown used it for personal expenses. They mention specifically $200,000 used for two things, a luxury box at a concert in Washington, D.C., and then a luxury box at an NFL football game. You know, I was reading through some of the quotes that the U.S. attorneys and the FBI agents who have been investigating this case put out this morning before this afternoon's hearing. And one of them uh, it caught me as the most egregious. One of the U.S. attorneys basically calling this directly a personal slush fund for these folks. And, and the special agent in charge of the FBI here in Jacksonville just expressing disappointment that someone who's elected to serve the people would allegedly take money from them and use it for personal gain and personal expenses. Uh, we saw this morning, Congresswoman Brown certainly has not uh, agreed to any of these charges. She has maintained her innocence this whole time. She told us last night getting off the plane that she believes all of this is politically motivated. She uh, has not in any way indicated that she agrees with the charges put forward by the U.S. attorney or even that she's at fault. And so this will all come to a head at about one o'clock this afternoon when the congresswoman, her legal team and U.S. attorneys will go before a judge for the first time. Uh, the indictment is long. It's 58 pages. And if you'd like to read more about it, we have plenty of information posted for you right now at firstcoastnews.com. We're still going through the pages, too, uh, but the highlights here, 24 counts split between Congresswoman Corrine Brown and her chief of staff, Ronnie Simmons, all connected to that education fake charity one door for education. And, and to put it simply, a U.S. attorney saying they used that fake nonprofit to solicit donations and then use the money for personal expenses. Blue.